hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is grace thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is the first time you're seeing my youtube face please do not make it your last consider subscribing and sticking around so i just want to quickly talk about my acne healing journey how god actually healed me from acne and this is a story that has been on my mind to share it my spirit has just been troubling me to share this story on my channel because um, i believe it's going to help someone probably that's why it has been pushing me to share this um, story so i'm going to be sharing my story why in certain pictures here as you know i share the story okay so um let's begin So a little backstory before i got into the university i didn't have acne i just had a normal skin you know just normal skin i love using lip gloss and um just rubbing white powder you know just white powder that's uh -huh. so that's what i enjoy doing i didn't like makeup as much because i felt very very comfortable in my skin i was very confident about my skin and then in 2016 i started to notice you know tiny breakout here and there and i was like mm, what is going on i don't like this from one or two breakouts to like three four turn into black spots and the rest so i was really uncomfortable and at that time i was not really exposed to social media or youtube like this where i could just go and learn about what was happening to me and it was crazy because everybody around me was i was not seeing it on on their face like it was only on my face that these things were coming out so i started to read blog posts at that time i love reading blog posts a lot so i did a google search and i was reading blog posts and i saw some diy stuff they would say mix honey lime lemon <laughs> um baking soda and the rest toothpaste or just those crazy diys that you hear i tried all of them and to be very honest they actually did work short term like you just wake up one morning and see that all oh, the acne is drying up and then you know it just keep coming back again that kind of thing so i graduated from doing diy to buying skincare products that's when i officially joined the skincare cult and at that time i went from just buying normal skincare product off the shelf to buying organic skincare products so that time so at that time in 2016 organic skincare products became very very popular they had different social media pages of people saying that they are selling organic products that are not made with um, uh, chemicals and the rest so i decided to try a couple of them i can't really remember how many i tried but i tried a couple and to be very honest they didn't work like somebody recommend it to me and they will swear with their life that this thing works it works for them it works for their family it works for their generation but when it's my turn to use it it won't work <laughs> and i did not give up if somebody also swears by another product i will buy it again and that was how i kept um, buying different skin products and i became a skincare product junkie and i had lots of products that were not good for me it's funny enough when i give it to someone it works for them but when it gets to my tone it won't work for me and i didn't know why so that was how i kept managing it so the acne will come to go to come and to go but then during COVID, when COVID-19 um, pandemic came, I had like a very crazy breakout and that was like the worst thing that have ever happened to me in my entire life because I did not know that that kind of thing, like I know, I didn't know we would go from like this, right, to this, like how, like how, how, and it kept getting worse and now, before I used to have people giving me unsolicited, like before the crazy breakout, I used to have people giving me unsolicited, um, advice for skincare products and the rest but this particular one oh my god it was crazy every single person that saw me was just staring at me and i didn't know whether they're staring at me because of my skin or probably because um they just they were not even staring at me they just felt like they're staring at me. i don't know what the case was but it just felt like everybody was looking at me and it really made me feel very uncomfortable and that was when i really now really got into makeup i wanted to start doing makeup concealer foundation you know concealing everything because now before i had like little insecure insecurities but now it was worse like the insecurities went way high i was like ah no i can't do this so i was always applying um makeup i was always doing my makeup a lot i can't even 
do video calls with people because i didn't want anybody to see my face and how it looked like i was always on makeup and then of course they have mobile app now filter so when you put filter put makeup you know do this and that and that one was what was making me presentable online but then if it's cool i was not looking that way i was looking really terrible and i felt really bad i felt depressed i hated looking at the mirror it became really bad that i stopped taking pictures i think it's the glory to the glory of god that i even had these pictures i at some point i had to stop taking pictures because there was no point i didn't i didn't feel beautiful i felt very ugly i felt very irritated i didn't like what my skin was looking like i didn't like what i was seeing in the reflection and i would cry every single day i couldn't even touch my face because it felt like i was touching um sand or particles that were on my face everybody around me was um trying to console me you know making me feel good about myself and stuff but it didn't really help much because these people consoling me do not have they don't feel what i'm feeling i don't know if that makes sense like it's just like somebody says that oh i know how you feel but do you really know how i feel you don't have this so how will you know how i feel kind of situation so that was exactly how i felt at the time and i was always feeling very um sad and down and the rest so for me, securities, it went to depression. Like, obviously, I became really depressed. And at some point, I even had to give up on buying skincare products because I was even too rich to continue. I had spent so much money. When I was a student, I was spending my allowance. And now, when I finished school and I was working, I was just spending my salary on skincare products. I was tired. And at that point, I said I was done. So, um, I one day, I was in, the, I was in my room and... I was thinking about the whole thing and my sister told me about one product like that that worked. I have the, uh, a blog post about that particular product. I'm going to leave it in the description so you could you know, read the blog post. So she told me about the product and told me how good the product was and I should try it. And to be honest, they're just three products and they actually work. They helped me clear my acne. But the issue that I had was the hyperpigmentation and post sorry about that <laughs> and post acne after the black spots that, that's the black spot that was on my face so i i was happy at that period i was like oh it's only black spot i have to deal with right no problem we'll handle it we are done with this face we are just going to clear hyperpigmentation <sighs> and then guess what it came back again yeah it came back again and this time around i was it, it didn't come as worse as it, it was at in 20 19 oh i even forgot to 2019 it helped matters because i was using face masks to cover you know they you wear face masks and hair i used to hide my face that way it was very amazing way to hide my face but now and this was in um 20 2021 2022 there about there was no face marks anymore so i had to go out with my face and i thought i'd already gone through oh now it's just black spot it came back again and i was just tired at this point i'm like what is going on why why is my skin so problematic why i just had a lot of questions to ask like god you were giving other people <laughs> glass skin when you reach my tone, you decide to give me problematic skin. Why? What if I don't deserve this? And, and mind you, I even forgot to mention, I have a detailed video about um, stuff I stopped doing to stop breaking out, right? I had to stop doing a lot of stuff. I had to stop eating a lot of things. So I really did not know why they were coming back. They were just going, coming back, going. So when that happened, I just came to my room one day. I'm like, God, I'm tired. Like, I had to sit down on my bed. And I felt the presence of God with me. And I'm like, God, I'm tired. I am tired of breaking out. I am tired of looking this way. I'm tired of feeling depressed about my skin. I'm tired of always having to deal with acne every single time. Like, I'm tired. I've tried everything. I've done all, everything I could do. Why am I still breaking out? And then the Holy Spirit told me, you've tried all these things, but have you prayed about it? Have you prayed about it? And that was what dropped in my spirit. And I was like, wow, that's so true. I've really tried a lot of things, but I've not prayed about it. And so I, that day I went on my knees, I cried, I wailed, I prayed. And it just made me realize that 
ah, it's true. I've not prayed about this thing. You know? So I prayed and then I committed it into God's hands and then I went about my day. Oh yes, I did not stop using products because I prayed though. I bought um another skincare product. I prayed about it. I prayed on over it and then I started using it. I saw results, but well, obviously, you know, off and on kind of situation was still there. But I actually just stopped letting it bother me, to be very honest. I stopped letting it bother me and I began to fall in love with my skin, even with how it was looking. I'm like, you know what, this is my skin. At the end of the day, it's my skin. I can't do anything about it. Like, I'm going to embrace it. And there was this thing I was using to console myself at the time that, oh, it's just skin. We're not going to use this thing to go to heaven. So it does it won't matter in heaven and stuff like that. And then one day I began to notice that my face was clearing. This video right you're seeing right now, this is my skin. There is no makeup. There is no makeup. This is my face. I just began to notice that I was not breaking out as much as I used to. Um, although I have this one here, I had an inflammation. I don't know what happened, but this is just it. I noticed that I was not breaking out as much as I... In fact, I was not even breaking out anymore. At the one time, I got so tempted. I, I stopped eating granules like, because I was breaking out. So I totally cut that granite off, out of my diet. And there was this time my sister bought granules. This bold granite here in Nigeria. You know this is the season um, of bold granite. And the she brought it and i was really tempted to eat it and i finished a lot the following day my dad bought a bottle of granite the one that they fry i finished half a bottle and it was when i finished it and i realized that oh my god i think i just messed up but guess what nothing happened i waited the next day the third day one week later two weeks later one month later i did not break out this is something that i would eat just two or three and then the next morning boo, 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 of my face you just see all of them coming out i was shocked that's when he dropped on me that oh my god god has healed you god has healed you god has healed you god has healed you and i was screaming and i was screaming and i was shouting oh my god god has really healed me and this is this is to say that most times we find it very difficult to pray about Things that we think are too little. Oh, this is just a little thing. I don't need to pray about it. Then it's just the things that we feel are too big. Then we get to pray about it. But if we can pray about everything, like literally everything, talk to God our Father about it. Like God heals. God heals. He doesn't just heal the blind, heal the lame. He doesn't just heal those things. He also heals stuff like this. He healed my acne. And I'm a living testimony to this. And I'm here to testify. And I don't know who is watching this. I don't know if it's, if you're having acne or you're not even having acne. Maybe something else that you, a challenge that you have and you're just watching this video. God heals. God answers prayers. Oh my God. God answers prayers. No matter how silly the prayer sounds. He answers it. Like, he really cares about us. And then he answers our prayer. Like, I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful to be here this moment sharing my testimony about how God healed me and how God, God healed me. I think it's only somebody that has acne or has experienced acne or has battled with acne or um, skin concerns that will really understand the magnitude of this testimony and i'm so grateful to god for where i am today and i'm so happy god so as i look back at my old pictures and i'm also grateful that i was able to have the courage to take those pictures and i look back and i'm like god you did this So yeah, that's my story. That's my testimony about how God healed me from acne. I want to use this moment to pray for someone going through um, acne right now. I pray that by just watching this testimony and keying into it, I pray that you find healing. 
I pray that God answers your prayer. I pray that you will come back and testify under this video and say, God has healed me. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if it inspired you, if it motivated you one way or the other, please give it a thumbs up. And if you also have somebody going through acne, please share this video with them to encourage them. And also remind them that God heals, He delivers, and then He wakes up. Please leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. In my video, I mentioned that I, was, I bought some skincare products and I prayed about it. And then here we are today. I'm going to be reviewing those skincare products in my next video. So please be on the lookout for that video. Meanwhile, I have other skincare products that I've reviewed. I've shared about my skin, uh, my acne journey, some products that because at each stage of my journey i used various kind of product that worked at some point so i also have a videos of those on my channel it's a playlist that it's a playlist named skincare products so you can check them out i'm going to leave them in the description so you can check them out and then i hope you find it helpful i'm going to see you in my next video bye